guys and welcome to my channel today i thought i share with you a little bit of a different video i do these type of things all the time and i thought i share them with you i had a lot of requests over on my other channels and over on instagram to share how i plan out all of my youtube content for a month so i wanted to show you what i'm using i use erin condren monthly planner and just to kind of show you the July one, um, how I had uh, planned it out. And then I use uh, some of these blank pages just to write ideas down and things like that. So I thought I um, follow through and show you how I do it in August. Now, um, July was a special month for me. I had to figure out a new schedule. So I uh, am going to kind of write up another schedule for August and see tweak f tweak it from July so but first things first I'm going to set up my monthly page um, spread and here I want to include all of my content on my blog and all of my channels if you do not know I have a DIY channel, home channel, cooking channel, and this vlogging channel. This vlogging channel is very new uh, within last um, two months, so I haven't really posted much here. I'm trying to kind of figure out which way I want the content to go, so uh, let me know what you like. I would like to, sh to use this channel to share everything that I like to do aside from cooking, cleaning, and DIY. <laughs> it used to be all one channel, but we all know how the, the YouTube algorithm works and they want you to niche it so that's why I thought this one would be a good vlogging channel where I can share all the things like daily vlogs um, my routines and as far as my personal routines and stuff like that so without talking any further I am going to start setting up uh, I like to color code. I don't necessarily color code the same every um, every month, but um, I'd like to color code and I'm using my markers from Erin Condren and this is a planner from Erin Condren as I mentioned and I also have two other planners that I use. There are Erin Condren as well. I have a link in my description box um, if you would like to get a 10%, uh, $10 off, not 10%, $10 off. So I use pencil as well because I like to write things in a pencil just in case if I mess up. So I'm going to use my green one for home and I'm just going to mark off when I'm posting on my home channel. And that is typically Mondays and Wednesdays unless I am doing a collab or a challenge that I want to participate in, then I will um, add more days, but typically I do, like I said, two days a week. For my DIY, I'm going to use this pinkish color and I use the fine tip end. There is also a thicker end. And I am going to do DIYs for the month of August, still following the same schedule as I have, and that's Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. I have been contemplating about switching it to a Thursday, but um, haven't. I don't think I'm going to be making that decision yet. Just been really playing with um, trying to figure out the analytics and what works, what doesn't with that channel. Um, doing a lot of learning on that channel so I can apply it to a lot of my other channels. And then I am going to use this plum color for cooking. And 
and then for my yellow one I am going to use it for my blog my blog has been really on hold lately just because I haven't figured out a good time to blog and with all the other stuff happening I I planned out my whole blog material for the month of July and I don't think I posted once so and now what's left is this vlogging channel now I am planning on doing a VEDA which is you post every day in a month of August however which I am going to mark that off right now and I'm going to use a red marker to do that but we are on holidays from the 10th to the 17th so obviously I will not be able to do that since we are going tent camping and obviously the access to internet will be very limited even to my cell service will be very limited but I have an idea of what I want to do here. I'm thinking that I am going to vlog up until the 10th. And then I'm thinking on the 18th or the 19th, I have to figure that out. I'm going to blog, kind of add from the 11th to the 19th to the 18th, a week long a vlog and it will be kind of almost like a travel vlog but I will include every day in it it's just it's going to be posted on the 19th instead of every single day and I'm, it's going to be one long video and kind of take you through every day of our camping so I think I'm thinking that's what I'm going to be doing because here I can still finish the video and edit it and publish it for the 10th but then after that i was thinking about maybe creating some content just to share on each day but i didn't think that that would would be good so that's my plan um by the time this video goes out you will know whether i am vlogging every day or not i also need to make sure that i have all of my videos done for this week for posting for all the other channels and scheduled so i have two weeks to get all the content done so I would like to plan everything out exactly what I'm doing. And I just want to show you, I also have, I don't know where I, oh, I'm sitting on it. I also have a desk calendar where I write stuff down. And over on my DIY channel, I also keep a community post of where I share everybody's challenges and collabs. Um, people email me their information and I add it to it just for everybody to know. I think it's a great thing for smaller channels to do to, to help them grow. So they can just refer to mine. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So since I have already my kind of DIY stuff set up, I'm going to fill that in and then I'll show you what that looks like. And then I got to figure out my home stuff as well. And then I have a couple things for cooking that I am already have scheduled. So I'm going to fill that in and then um, show you what that all looks like.
Okay, so I think I am done my calendar here. And now I'm going to flip over here. And the way I did it last time, I wrote out my blog posts and then challenges that I was participating in and, or that I hosted and then my goals. So that I think I'm gonna do the same thing again here. And I'm just going to use the stickers that came with, uh, with this planner. to add a blog post because I know I'd want to do it but we are camping with <clears throat> both of our dogs who are puppies still the one is um, how old is Duke is 18 months and Frank is nine months and we're going camping in a tent so I have certain things that I am buying uh, supplies that I want to take with me so I want to make sure that I kind of share my feedback about these things and how it worked out. So, so I want to create a blog post on that because I know that's something that I would like to share. So I'm going to add that to here. Now I am hosting a on August 8th a fall DIY challenge and then I think that's it as far as the DIY I haven't decided if I'm gonna participate in any other ones but I'm definitely going to do which I should have wrote first on August Six fruit challenge collab. I know for sure those ones I am doing, and then I just want to decorate something here. And I have a ton of um, the my me and my big idea stickers left over still when I was. Um, had my other planners so I don't want to go out and buy all new and supplies so I am working through these stickers to uh, use them all up and they do work pretty good with this planner as well so if you are worried about interchanging you can you can definitely make it work I think I found something that will work. Because it's gonna be such a busy month, I think that's a pretty good inspirational quote to put on there. Okay, so over here, I'm just going to create another one of these calendars um, just to uh, help me out with what I'm supposed to do every day. So I have completed it. I know it's not um, you know as as beautiful as some can be but it is functional it is something that I'm still working on to figure out what is the best way I know it's already August but like I said things have sh shifted for me in July a little bit so the planning has shifted a little bit as well but this is what it pretty much looks like my big desk calendar is where I write out all all the ideas I have and then I pare them down to this calendar and then um, 
this is just almost like my daily checklist and then as I talked about here I will write I always have goals and I think it's important to write them down so you know if you have completed them or not and then uh, just kind of an overview of what's happening and then all the, the rest of these blank pages I will take down like I will write out all of my DIYs for the month and what I want to be creating for for them I'm just trying to see if I have a good uh, example of what so ju just it is mismatch I love this planner for that purpose is because I can literally write anything I need to in these um, blank pages I used to use a bullet journal because of that but it's just it was too it took too much of creating the monthly spread and all this stuff and then filling in all this stuff um, this is I find, I'm finding is working a little bit better because there's a lot a little bit less of designing to do a more ju just planning so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up let me know if you would like to see how I do my daily plan where I have this one let me just show you kind of my past uh, where I write out everything that I'm doing for that day um, this includes my work my home and work that I have to do for my um, family's business and then dinners so it's pretty much what my day looks like um, let me know if you want to see that and also my life planner where I just plan everything else that I need to do for that day kind of thing so if you want to see any of it please leave me down in the comments and if you're brand new to my channel I would love it if you consider subscribing pressing the notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads and also give me a thumbs up that will let me know if you like this video or not and whether I should make another one or not so until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching